Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Looks like the fry sparkers knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Just a few moves left, make them count. You need to give the tensioners on the machine head a matching adjustment to get the twing twang in tune. <laughs> You need to swivel the Globus's bearings to get the Atlas mapper to work. Just a few moves left, make them count. Seems like the controls need some organising to set the mechanism in motion. You need to get the notes in harmony to make the string plonk tuned. Just a few moves left, make them count. Seems like the cranks need to be unturned in the right order if you want to... Just a few moves left, make them count.
Looks like the radionic controls need a nudge to frequency an airwave signal. Eye boxes like this are few and far between. However, that's no great loss. Talking pictures from the aforetimes lacked a message. Just a few moves left to make them come. That's something. A ring dinger from the yesterdays. A thingamabob used to pling signal the faraways. Let's find out if it still works. Seems the keys need to be in sequence to make the ring dinger work. Looks like the control box handles need to be wheeled to buzz the wire. Seems that the knobs need to be aligned so the device can load its program. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Looks like the inputters need to be linked to get the mind monitor to boot up. Looks like the groover's arm needs to be nudged to get the needle in position and hear the mellow disc's message. Oh, no. 
Bebop Plateau. It's a Chi-Chi Bebop code memo. Good thing I'm old enough to decipher it. It sing-songs about a secret below-ground area, just a walkabout from here. <laughs> 